Good morning to you. Welcome to Today. I'm Steve Liebman. This morning coming to you from the ALP National Conference headquarters at Hobart's Rest Point Casino. Good morning everyone. Well here I am on Sydney Harbour in one of the tallest of the tall ships here to celebrate our bicentennial. For those viewers who've been following uh, our program, for George Negus, um, a little quiz again. What day is it? Bond Springs, cattle country in Central Australia. That's where we are this morning on the uh, final day of our Outback Safari. Mm, I recommend it. Mm. Recommend it. It's lovely. Insects, good graphics too. <laughs> Good morning, I'm George Negus, and I'm uh, on the Gordon River where dawn is just breaking, Liz. It's their 35th birthday at Disneyland, but if, you're ever if you've ever wondered what it's like to fall five storeys at 60 kilometres per hour, you're about to find out. <coughs> I'm aboard the train. From Orange to Cuda, rattle down memory lane. Well, that was day one in uh, Orlando, Disney Walt World. Disney's Disney World. We have four more to come. This is the Magic Kingdom. Uh, hi, Liz. Thanks, Steve. Yes, Lilla Hummer is a magnificent sight for these Winter Olympics. The winner is Cindy. It is just extraordinary. <laughs> it is the best news we've had all day. Today, over Ireland, with Steve Liebman and Liz Hayes. Good morning and welcome to today. Yes, we've left the Republic of Ireland for a one-day stopover here in the north. This is my hometown almost. Yes, it is. You know this place very well. Fortunately, I do, yes. Good morning to you and welcome again from London. And although it's Tuesday in Australia, it is still Monday, the 8th of May, VE Day on this side of the world those cheers are being offered to the royal family now. They are on that balcony, on Buckingham Palace. This is uh, Hong Kong Harbour behind us. The end of one era and the beginning of another. And we in Hong Kong have been privileged to see history in the making. Monty Wallace here, yeah. Monty, Monty Wallace. Wallace. Come over and say hello to us. We've okay. been apart all week. I've got to say, Mon, that's a, that's a big one. It's a bastard sword, Liz. Is that right, fellas? Bastard yeah. sword? Excuse me? <laughs> well, when you get hit with it, apparently, that's what you say. <laughs> OK, hang Five on. Five seconds up the top of the hill. Oh, no. Hang on. Do you know how to drive this? There's a fantastic feeling in the city. Yeah, sure. Well, I, I love Melbourne at the best of times, but I think this is sensational. Well, we've had a great time. Oh, it's been a fantastic time. And... and uh, this is the first time I've travelled in style like this. Good morning, girls. These are more of the Carnival girls. We're on Sugar Wharf here at Port Douglas. We're in the top right-hand corner of Kakadu National Park, and that's, in fact, Arnhem Land right behind me. It's magnificent, isn't it? Welcome to our program, a week-long series coming to you from the mighty Murray River in South Australia. The Today program is coming to you this morning from on board the USS Independence. What you're watching as we uh, talk to you from the flight deck of the aircraft carrier is an FA-18 Hornet about to come down. Trace, that was uh, an interesting shot of Major General Liebman at the start of the news. He got right into character quickly, didn't he? <laughs> Roscoe, the East, it, it, the East Timorese would have rested easy yesterday knowing that uh, General Liebman was at the wheel. Tracy wants to know, can you make the sheep sit, <laughs> Lindsay? And I had to enunciate that very clearly. <laughs> I'm glad you said that clear, Steve. And how's this for a clash of cultures and time zones? We've got our little kids here dressed in their Federation costumes, crossing at the zebra crossing and stopping three huge trucks in the main street of Tenerfield. Welcome back to Uluru. It's been a privilege to be here and it's been a wonderful occasion to witness. Thanks, Dickie! You weren't kidding, were you? This is, this is wet! Oh, boy! I told you! Well, 
it's Italy's answer to Cannes, the Venice Film Festival. We have certainly gone west. We're about an hour and a half's drive southwest of Calgary. We're on the Anchor D Ranch in the heart of cattle and horse country. This is a must do when you come to this incredible place a cruise across the dunes on a ship of the desert. Good morning, Australia. It is Friday the 28th of October. It's our grand finale here in London. And this is clearly not Carl Stefanovic. There are a lot of people sitting out there this morning in Australia wondering what has happened to Carl. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> Tracy has gone walkabout. I'm here live on the set of McLeod's Daughters. I'm at Drover's Run in South Australia, supposedly in the heart of the Australian bush, but really I'm only about an hour from Adelaide. It was a really lovely thing to do. Yeah, it's nice. I felt a little emotional, actually, because I was thinking about um, my husband and my family and friends watching and looking. There I am. Steve Jacobs uh, will be taking in a fair bit of water. Isn't it good to see Steve Jacobs now in safe hands? He is on board that chopper after being safely rescued from the middle of Sydney Harbour. <laughs> the bells at the Jean Baptiste Church here in Villa Bretonne just chimed ten times. We be body moving. Carl? Not sure about Carl. <laughs> Lots of kids, a lot of kids in Cairns. Leave him early before he starts to cry like every other kid has. I'm he can to be cry around. Too. How hot is it? At this broadcast this morning at Cool and Gatta's fantastic morning. Gee, it's bright. Got I need to put the sunnies ready. on. <laughs> so Tom Cruise on me, Carl. Master. It's, it's just an incredible opportunity. I've had a ball and uh, yeah, I don't know how I top this one, I tell you. That is what we are waking up to in Geelong, in God's country, right? Yeah. <laughs> this lady has made me some sausage rolls. <laughs> really? Are they in your pocket? Yeah. Sorry, they're in my bag. Are they in your the... pocket? Are you just pleased to see him? <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> to see him. Check out these blokes. How good is he? And he's wearing a thong. Yeah! Oh. Nice. Isn't that fantastic? A traditional Maori welcome, at least we think so. And now for something completely different. Said females can't drive. A new set for the Today Show. Where are you thinking? You're going to love it. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You're going to absolutely love yes. it. Take a look at that. Oh, yes, please. And welcome to Wednesday, the 27th of April, 2011. Big Ben strikes 10 o'clock. Uh, Little Ben in the foreground. <laughs> Gee, I love that. <laughs> Can you pick the difference? Thank Cheers you. to the wedding. Cheers Absolutely. To the wedding. Cheers. 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 Bottoms up. In fact, not bottoms up, not cheers, to your good health. Okay. Yes. To cheers your good, good health. health. Can we have a play? We're going to pretend we're invited to the royal wedding. <laughs> Everything is in the ready. It certainly is, and more than a million people, some are saying closer to two million, have now crammed the famous streets between here and Westminster Abbey. Most waiting to catch a glimpse of the star attraction of the day, 29-year-old Kate Middleton. Welcome to Disneyland. We're going to show you all around Disneyland and Disney California Adventure, which is also amazing. Amazing. Just awful weather here in California. Just awful <laughs> weather. It's got a tan already. Good morning and welcome to today live from London on another beautiful evening London time. It is balmy out there, it's also balmy within the Australian Olympic team. Now live from Times Square in New York, Carl Stepanovic, Lisa Wilkinson and the Today Show team. Oh, what a set. <laughs> it's not bad. We're never leaving actually. Welcome to Tiffany. Thank you, Jeffrey. It's a great thrill to be here. Would you like to try something on? Why not?
there's just one more thing I want to do on our float before we go and say goodbye to the Columbus Parade. It's something I've wanted to tick off my bucket list for some time. We'll shake it up, baby, now. Twist and shout. Come on, come on, come on now, baby, now. Come on and work it all out. President Obama actually sitting on the couch was pretty... It was pretty cool to have him sitting on the couch. So I like the, po the politicians that come. I think there's plenty of women in Australia who like the idea of Obama on the couch as well. So <laughs> you're not alone there. <laughs> 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 okay. It's up to you.